hello there everybody dre here and welcome back to my little dredge fishing boat in a well well a game called dredge as well today we are going to be back out and uh there's a lot going on right now so kind of excited about that um there's a bunch of x's on my map i don't remember specifically which one each one means because yeah currently we are on four different pursuits as they're called in this game so yeah right now we just got to go out and uh start obtaining some of these things that we need for these pursuits uh, so yeah, waste no time, get out there, and whatever one is close. So we did have to go on the other side of Little Morrow. I think we gotta go on nighttime, though, uh, someone said. Oh, this should, wasn't here before, was it? Okay, so this is definitely new. Oh, that looks to be metal. Hold on, before we go over there, let's get the metal. Nope, that would be a ring. Okay, well, we do need a ring for the relics. I do know that for that other guy. That is not a ring. That is a chain. That's fine, though. Any trinket is good because they're worth quite a bit of money. And it looks like this is another trinket as well. This one's going really fast. Oh, my God. Chill. Chill. Jesus, I wasn't ready for this. <laughs> okay. Whew. What the hell is that thing? Up? Oh, that's the bronze belt buckle from the guy. It's, it's his dead son's bronze belt buckle. How exciting. <laughs> and this looks to be metal. Okay, this is great. This is exactly what we needed right now. If we can get two from this... Then I believe that's all we need to get the, the lady to move. So there's one metal scrap. Yep, it looks like we're at least going to get two. Perfect. What a start to this episode. Uh, so we can see what that lady's all about. We also got the old guy's belt buckle. Uh, can I get one more in here somehow? I don't think I'm going to be able to. Oh, wait. Look at that. I'm Tetrising it. I'm, I'm learning how Tetris works. Okay, we do have enough for one more. Perfect. I do need upgrades for my boat as well. So uh, the more scrap we get, the better. All right. Well, that was really successful. Let's get back before that creepy monster fish comes out. Oh, this might be bad. I am out late at night. That's okay. We do not need to go home. So let's just go to Little Morrow and uh, call it a night here. We can also give the old man his bronze belt buckle or his son's bronze belt buckle. Oh, wait. Did he? I don't think he was from here, if I remember correctly. I don't think he was the traitor. No. So I think we got to find him somewhere else. That's okay. Because we can sell the trinket for seven fifty. I mean, money's money. And I guess we'll just sleep to the morning time. We'll figure out where that guy is later on. Oh, okay. He, he is here. Is everything okay? Yes, I got your belt buckle. Give the belt buckle to the man. No, I'm keeping his dead son's belt buckle. What the hell, game? Ah, uh, there you go, buddy. This is, this is his. Oh, my thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. I'm going to return his belt buckle to you. Please take this. I have not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value. Indeed, it will. Okay, that was definitely worth it. All right, well, more upgrades for later. Fantastic. Now uh, we have to go talk to that lady, which is at the other area. Why is this glowing? I don't have any inventory space. Why is that glowing, though? I mean, I might have enough for one. I'm assuming that means there might be a mutant one, and indeed there is. Wow, what an episode. This is great. The all-seeing cod. Ah, uh, the all-seeing cod jokes, man. That's funny. All right, first and foremost, let's go to the fishmonger and sell that mutant fish for 55 bucks. Holy crap, 55 bucks for one fish. Not bad. And now we can talk to the builder. And what did you want me to do again? Bring two units of lumber and two units of scrap to Steel Point. Okay, so I got to bring it there, which is an island just to the north. Okay, so I guess we'll do that tomorrow. We are getting a nice storage of materials, though. So I definitely want to upgrade my boat sooner or later, too. Because we have two extra lumber and one extra scrap. I wonder if we can get anything with that, actually. All right, well, I could upgrade to hold an extra light. I don't know if I necessarily want that, though. I want an extra rod slot so I can get all three of my rods in the same area. Uh, that's actually... We do have enough. So let's go over and get the fabric. All right. And there we go. We just slide that in there. And just like that. 125 bucks. I mean, I do have money, so all good. So now we got four net spaces. Wait, is net not the fishing rod? Oh, I don't think... I think I did that wrong. So, it did say I have a fishing net at the, um, store now, though. So, I guess we can get into that. So, that goes there. Oh, damn it. I don't have enough space for all my rods now. I really want this, though. So, that will passively catch fish. Obviously, we're just dragging a net behind our boat, which is fantastic. Um, I'm not gonna buy it right now because that's all my money. But we definitely will buy that sooner or later. I thought that meant I got more fishing rod spots, but no. That's fine. We don't have enough inventory space anyways. All right. Well, it's still very much early in the day, so let's go get some generic fish. So we, uh, 
are not wasting any time. Oh, that's speaking of time. Let's also start reading our next book because we did complete one. And with that, I reel and fish 10% more effectively. This is really cool, actually. Correct engine operation. Yes, I would love to do that. The faster our engines are, the better. I feel like engine power is going to be one of the most useful things for me with how fast time goes. All right, why, why get the wimpy fish when we can go for the big guys with my new fancy rod? Uh, hope I have enough space. I already did catch a few fish, but we should be okay. And there we go. Look at that. This fish is, um, really just taking all the inventory. I don't know the best way to place this. It's too bad I don't have that fishing rod. I'd be able to place it there. Oh, actually, here's pretty good. All right, just like that, another $175 in the bank. Perfect. All right, a day of fishing. We are going to rest up now, and tomorrow we're going to make the big trek over to this lady's cabin to see, to see what that's all about. So I needed uh, two wood and two scrap for that. Pretty much a full inventory here, but that's fine. Pretty much everything is a full inventory with this small boat, so definitely need to get better inventory as quickly as possible. Speaking of that, let's actually check to see. To get a new haul, I need a lot of everything. Okay, and $500. I think that will be our next goal. We can obviously upgrade with these as well, but going down this list is probably smarter. Okay, so where did we need to go? Should be an X on the map. I'm assuming it's this one. Let me actually check my um, pursuits because it doesn't explain much. Bring the materials to Steel Point. Steel Point. Does it say Steel Point anywhere? No. Well, that's not very informative, is it? I got to assume it's this island because it's not labeled yet and it's the only one that isn't. So yeah, we're going to head way north and uh, see if that's it. All right, finally leaving my first little island or I guess plural. There's multiple islands there. And here we are. <laughs> the traveling doesn't take very long in this game. Is this Steel Point? Does it say now? It doesn't actually say. All right, well, it's right here. This is the dock if it is it. Not seeing anything on this island. So that tells me it is the cabin spot. So we'll dock up and material pile. Yep, there we go. Better get paid a lot for this one, man. I'm building you a whole freaking cabin. Well, I guess I'm giving you the materials to build it. I think you are building it. Uh, delivered all the necessary materials. You should let the builder know. All right. Looks like I have time to get back today. So we'll head back and uh, catch some fish along the way. There was one more of the big fish. So I will definitely catch that. All right, here we are. The builder, you've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Hold on. I didn't tell you I'd take you. You better pay me. <laughs> I got to take her. I remember uh, when I was playing the demo for this, I accidentally died with her in my boat and I lost her, I think. Um, obviously, I don't have space for her right now. So no room on deck. Come back when you have more space. All right, we're making the big purchase. We are going to buy the net. Um, actually, I got to hold on. Refund it right now. I need to uninstall this. Put it in storage, and then I need to install this. This is a huge. This is the one downside of this is the install times. But now I can passively catch fish as we're taking this lady back to her um new cabin. Definitely not doing it during the nighttime though. So we'll wake up, grab her, and go and see how this trawl net works. All right, so builder, get on the damn boat. Sure do take up a lot of space of my boat. <laughs> Good riddance to you. Great tomorrow. I'm onward bound. I swear to God, if you pay me nothing, I'm going to be so mad. Whoa, almost went into the uh, shoreline there. Select the troll net ability with E and lower it with right click. Nets catch things as you move, but need repairing every so often. All right, drop the net. Oh, drop the... Oh my God, there's a lot of uh, options here. Okay, dropping it, I believe. It says there's plenty of fish. Good. And yeah, I guess we just passively catch as we go. Do I have to go over the schools, I'm wondering? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, <laughs> You do see the net. I had to drop it first. Okay, my bad. Three-headed cod. What a start. You do actually have to hook the fish. So every now and then you see these, like, small fish everywhere, I believe. That's the things we actually have to try and get. This is so cool. All right, I think we only got one, but that's fine. That is a really cool way of fishing. Super exciting. And we're going to dock, get this lady off, so I have space for inventory. This will do. Thank you, fella. Uh, all that, and I, I, I get a thank you, fella. Give me a short while to get my things built here. You're welcome back anytime. Take these. Okay, good. Double. That's what I was hoping for. More research parts. And two of them, I guess that was worth it. All right, let's head back out with my trawl net and see if we can catch anything along the way back. So we actually did a lot of what we needed to do right now. What actually are we missing? Oh, we actually completed our book, too. So let's do some sustainable fishing. Oh, the net goes in a whole unique spot. Okay, cool. That's actually fantastic. That means I can fish with my basic 
fishing pole as well and have extra fish. But yeah, we are done all but two of the pursuits now. And one is like the main goal of the game, I believe. So that one's a long-term one. So all we need now is this one that I haven't done, uh, which I believe he says it was a nighttime type fish. So we need arrow squid and black grouper. I'm not really kitted out to catch those. So I'm not too worried about that. That's just extra money, I believe anyways. So now we're kind of just waiting. I'm going to head back to this place tomorrow or maybe in a couple days and see if she built her cabin and see what that's all about. Well, I was lucky enough to actually be able to catch some of the arrow squid for this order. So all I need now is the grouper, which is in shallows, which I'm not kitted out for. So we'll have to do that one later. Regardless, got the majority of that quest done already. And we're going to sell all of this. Now, does that sell my net stuff as well? I still only got the three-headed cod. And I can sell that for $73. So I will gladly sell that for $73. And then I guess I sold all accidentally. So $139. So that was including the net fish as well. All right, cool. So I do like the trawling. Oh, oh yeah, that's right. I do have a new engine as well. So let's get that. I guess I uh, did take some damage. So we'll repair that as well. Uh, but yeah, we have the improved outboard engine, which is better than probably both of these. 15.8 knots as compared to 10.5. What was my starting engine? 14.7. So close, but no cigar. We'll definitely sell this one. I think I'll just uninstall this one. And I guess I'll throw it in the storage. I don't know what to do with it. Unless I can only buy one improved, which I think I can. So I might have to use my starting engine once again. Yeah, it goes away, unfortunately. And then we just have the rusty ones. I'm assuming it might restock in the morning, though. So let's check that before I install my other engine. We're just going to sleep. And we'll check and see. And indeed, it did uh, restock. So instead of doing my basic engine, we'll get two really nice engines on this bad boy. Waste two hours today, but that's fine. Because now we're going to go extra fast. Check this out. Look at me go. Are you not impressed? Oh, God. That's actually kind of fast. Brood squid. Another good one added right at the end here. So I don't even need to pull my net in, I don't think. Which I thought I would or I would lose my fish. But no, indeed, I do not. So what did I get as well? Oh, just an ordinary massive cod. Okay. Seems to be uh, pretty common for the rare or the um, mutant fish with this thing. I'm not complaining with that, though. They're worth extra money. So we will indeed sell those. 49 bucks. Not bad, considering I wasn't fishing at all. All right. So I do have enough to get the extra fishing slots, which is, which is what I really want right now. I'd love to get the oceanic um, thing with the dredge. So that means I can get the big fish and dredge for any fish as well. Uh, so I believe I needed, oh, I might have needed two lumber, didn't I? Let me actually check. So yeah, it's this one right here. And of course I do need two lumber. So tomorrow we really got to get a lumber. Well, I see a cabin. So that must mean the old lady is done. Let's go talk to her and see if she'll give me any sort of intel on something. Because yeah, right now there's not much to do besides just work on my boat. Thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. Please be a research thing. The Engineer's Companion. Oh, that's another book. That's okay. I actually just finished my final book, so I actually need an another one. All right, so I can use the dock or store stuff here, which is actually good. That means I can sleep here, so this is a different fishing area I can kind of stay at, which I probably will do right now, being that it's almost nighttime. And I still haven't found any of the lumber, unfortunately. So looking over here, uh, is that lumber? I think that might be. That's it? Okay. All right, but there we go. We got the wood that we needed to get this upgrade. I didn't realize how little money I have right now. So I got two cargo spaces to hold rods. Does it choose them for me? Oh, I think it does. What the? No, I don't want them there. Well, not all is lost. The goal was to get the hydraulic rod in as well. So we're going to put that on. I could actually fit both of my poles instead of this as well, but I'd rather go for the large oceanic fish. So... Yeah, we at least got the trawl net for the small guys and then the hydraulic rod for the big guys. And once we get one more upgrade, uh, we should be able to get the bigger trawl net on this as well. Ooh, that's interesting. Red coming off of what is clearly a shipwreck. Oh, did I finally get one of the actual um, good relics? I think this has to be it. Oh, God, this is going fast. Okay, hold on. We got it. Don't, don't screw this up now. There we go. We did get it. We got the key. I am seeing... Hold on. I don't know if I'm going to have enough room for this fish, but I'm going to try. Oh, I'm not going to have enough room. It's the same as this fish. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't want to catch it if I can't keep it. So let's head back. All right. You hand him the key. The cold metal, metal shimmers. The strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key. The teeth. The head. Now somehow seem changed. Smaller. Has it always been this way? 
Is this all? Where's the lock? Oh, God damn it. Come on, man. Are you serious? It seems the pieces we're looking for have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. What am I getting now? A burst of light fills your vision. You stagger back briefly. Haste. Otherworldly speed at a price. My intuition tells me that the current may have carried some debris to the southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make that your priority. Good to know. All right, and he's marking my map because I will forget. Thank you. All right. Well, we now have our first, like, boost. Haste adds speed to your engines but increases panic and engine heat. Okay, so basically use that at nighttime when you want to get the hell away. Got it. Let's just try it really quickly just to see. Oh, yeah. That, that is some good speed. Okay, turn that off now. What the hell? Oh. Something is mad I got the relic. That was a very large growl. All right, so we got $399 now. Just sold all my fish. And as I said, we have enough to get all the upgrades now. So that's at the dry dock. So I need, I think, three of each. So let's go grab those from my storage real quick. As you can see, I've been kind of busy. So there is number one done. We can hold more engines. Not that I really want it, but I feel like I need to unlock these to unlock this. Could be wrong on that, but I may as well get them while I can. Uh, and now we need two logs and one metal. And as you can see, we have just enough. And we have a whole selection of cloth whenever we need that. All right, we'll buy that. And yes, that has now unlocked this. Okay, so we did need to get all of those. Good to know. So I need refined metal. That's what that thing is. All right, well, just because we can, I'm going to buy an extra light. Maybe I'll be more comfortable staying out at nighttime now. So we have two lights. We also have the two extra engine slots. Now, I don't think, because these things take two slots. Yeah, that's unfortunately one on the sides. So, unfortunately, we can't add our extra engine, which kind of sucks. But I'm assuming on research, there's going to be an engine that looks weird. Yeah, like the L-shaped ones we should be able to add. Uh, if we add two of those, that would be perfect. All right, do we make our way over to Gale Cliffs or what? Uh, that is far away. Uh, but we're kind of nearing the end of our localized area. So I definitely do want to make my way there. I'm not going to make it there tonight, but I'm going to sleep. Uh, maybe I'll sleep at the mansion. I should be able to make it over there. All right, so our biggest journey yet. I'm going to waste no time at the dawn of day. I guess we could wake up before dawn as well if we wanted to, but... Um, no, then we'll probably be attacked. So yeah, I think it's that island way in the distance over there. Um, I'm hoping one of these islands we can stop off along the way. If not, we're going in the middle of the night, which could be dangerous. It does look like there's something there. I don't know if that's a dock or not. I really hope it is. Okay, I am seeing there's a house there. It's only 840, so we might be able to make it. Ooh, swordfish. Nice. This is what I wanted. Something new. This should be worth a lot, hopefully. Ooh, this is going to be hard to catch. Take my time. Done. Swordfish. I can have one of them. Or sailfish, as they're called. All right, we do have a ruined boat here. I'm just going to stop along the way, see if we can do anything with this. You pull up a wreck uh, with a familiar-looking hull. It's almost identical to the ship given to you by the mayor, except this one has a huge breach on the side. It's almost like someone died before me. You're tied up along the side of the old wreck. Okay, we have a big decision. Look in the cabin or the cargo. Do I want to find a dead body or do I want to find loot? I want to find loot, damn it. You poke through the cargo hold, a few items remain, not yet lost to sea. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Interesting. Oh my god. Um. Alright, well, we're going to uninstall that and put that in storage. Thankfully, we can do that from here. I may as well take this engine if I can. Install that. It's going to take three hours. That's risky. We'll grab the metal basic fishing pole. Uh. I don't need it. I don't need it. That was really cool, though. Do I look in the cabin? Yes, I do. You look, you're, you're in the cabin. Look in the cupboards and drawers. Try to find a loose floorboard. Check the overhead electrical equipment. Let's do that first so we don't get electrocuted. Um, but surely exposure to the elements has fried the internals. You angle the overhead radio down to get a closer look. A note slits off the top. You put it in your pocket to read later. That is everything. So that was really cool. I got a brand new engine. I'm going to need to use that engine right now really quickly. If I want to make it over to this area. I wonder if I should go back. No, screw it. Oh, we got a tiger mackerel too. How exciting. Yeah, this engine's not bad at all. I think we're doing totally fine. That was a really cool find. So we actually haven't even unlocked that engine yet. But we can get it because I guess because we looted it. 
And look at this, a whole new island to explore. Oh, there's a massive waterfall in the back. This place looks cool. Oh, God. Oh, what is that? What the frig is that? Is that like a typhoon? I think so. Let's just uh, dock off here. We made it in time. Oh, I guess we can't talk to anybody here. That's kind of sad. Oh, wait, there's a resident here. What is it? That's kind of mean. Can you need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare a special meal, meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eels to be a particular delicacy. They say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. So she wants an aged conger eel. Um, yeah, I'll get right on that. All right, they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. I imagine they've been fished out around the ages, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. What? This is sounding a lot harder. Uh, they only come out at night? Even harder. I don't think we're getting on that anytime soon. All right. Well, our grand journey was successful. We made it here. Now we just got to go, I think, a bit more inland for the X. I don't even remember what this is for, if I'm honest. But I, I know it's something of interest. So we'll uh, head in and see what we can find. I think we actually have to go through here. This is going to be interesting. Oh, yeah. I, I see the red already. Oh, damn it. I need explosives, don't I? You bastard. What's here? Hold on. Let's just dock here real quick. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Don't get many visitors around here. What is it you need? I need explosives, clearly. Oh, actually, this works out. You know how I could clear the debris around here. You probably need some explosives to shift those rocks. My brother Ingfeld used to make explosives. Yes! Thank you, Hermit. All right, well, he didn't explain where he was, but at least we kind of know that somebody named Ingfeld sells it. All right, so long story short, I told this guy I would take him to Ingfell. Um, he says no because he stole his family's crest. It was his brother, by the way. And he lost it. So now i got to find the family crest so he can go back and see his brother because he's too embarrassed right now. All right, so I think explosives are a ways away, but at least we at least understand how to get them now. we got to work with that guy. And is that what we needed? Yeah, so that was the X that we needed. So... Looks like there is a passageway through to this other X. That might be where the brother is, because that X wasn't there a second ago. Oh, great. It's... Ah! Ah! Holy crap! Oh! Engine! Engine! Engine thingy! Engine thingy! Oh, God. Oh, I'm freaking out. I'm freaking out. Okay. Speed ahead. I don't think it attacked me, but I do not want to screw around there. I think I totally broke my engine, because I'm going really slow now. Yep, that engine is out of commission. This is why I wanted two engines at the start, though. Well, what the hell am I going to do now? I can't go all the way back with one engine. It's going to take me more than a day. And I don't know how to repair it here. All right, well, we're going to have to try. It's a new day, and as you can see, my boat is hurting. I'm just going to get back, because I need to get back to repair. I don't know of anyone who can repair over here. So, hopefully we can make it back to Blackstone. I don't think there's any stops along the way. So, we're just going to beeline it there. As long as we don't screw around, we should be okay. Actually, there's a lighthouse right there. So, maybe we should head towards the lighthouse. All right, you know what? I'm just going to go right there. We actually did make it in pretty good time. Oh, there's a question mark. Oh, I can't stop now. Can't stop. Almost nighttime. Do not want to risk being out here at nighttime. Because I feel like I'm one hit from death, man. Whew. My poor boat. You did it, though. You did well, little guy. All right, we made it. We did it. We have a good amount of fish as well, thanks to my trawling. So we should have a little bit of money at least, because I got $12 to my name. 111. It's not great, but hey, it's something. I don't even know if I have enough money to repair. I can't. I can't repair it all. Oh, do I have to like right click? Uh, get this repaired at the shipyard. Enter repair mode. Okay, so I can click. There we go. So we repaired the engine. That's all I really care about. And then obviously my reel as well. I'll repair that, and the rest we're going to have to repair later. All right, guys, I think that's a good time to wrap up this episode here. We explored quite far today. We went all the way down to Ingfell. Um, yeah, learned about the old man and explosives, so that's exciting. And uh, yeah, got a whole bunch of new upgrades for the old boat. Hopefully in the next episode, I can get what we need to get this, because I really need more inventory space. That's really rough right now, but um, yeah, if we don't, I mean, it's not a big deal. We're just not going to be able to get a lot of fish. But yeah, thanks to the trawler net using its own unique inventory, uh, it's not so bad either. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this episode. As always, thanks for watching and liking, and I'll see you in the next one.